Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Ren's Treasure Chest in Fab's Difficulty Chart Obby, or FDCO. So when you get in there, there's an NPC right there. It says, talk to them, and then it says, set marker. And when you set the marker, it doesn't really make any true indication or sound for you, but you can see off in the distance over there, there's a cube above uh, what the item is. And there's a little picture there that kind of shows you a little bit more information on that as well. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go through and we have to get to level 10 in the obby so not very difficult at all these are very simple matches so uh first one you don't want to go through the yellow want to go through the purple obviously so we're just going to kind of jump through here and we're going to make it past those first 10. uh these are all it's all pretty simple to do once you realize that you don't actually have to go through other levels in the obby you just have to go to this level right here so at level 10 you go and you get in there and you touch that thing so that thing in there after you touch it you're going to hear a little ding sound so you've got the first out of five of the crystals so if you go back and teleport to spawn and then just zoom out you can see there's the yellow one there's a pink one right there there's a red one off in the left so we're going to just get all of these so we can get access to the area that gives us the treasure chest so there we've got the yellow one now the pink one is really easy right over there you go grab that one and then the red one is back there so we could hop in the water and we could swim over there the water's not going to hurt us. You're going to see that later on as well because there's one that's back there in that little shack in the back. So first we're going to get the red one. We're going to come around this corner. We're going to try to avoid spawning or hopping in any of these vehicles for the time being. We're just trying to get these shards so that we can get access to the gate. So here we go. We've got the red one now. Okay, so we're going to hear a little ding sound. Now we've got four out of five of them to get into that gate so uh, right here i should have just basically taken a right but we're taking a left but looking like we're gonna see that we can't actually get in this door on the right just yet okay so now realizing that we've got a blue one back here as well so apparently there's some boats that you can hop in here i'm not sure if we're trying to hop in the boats or how to make the boats go. I hopped in the boat and it disappeared. So uh, that didn't really work out for me. So I just jump in the water and jump over to this blue one. It's no big deal. You're not going to drown. You can swim. You're, you're in good shape. So grab the blue one right there. Now, after you've got that one, just teleport to spawn. And then once you teleport to spawn uh, from over there, after you've gotten all five of these, you should be able to get through this gate Okay, so now this basically is a rebuild of the Metaverse Hub. Very interesting rebuild of the hub there. I like it. But when you go and you stand in the middle of all the champions, you can see it says congratulations. It says congratulations. There's an extra S in there for some reason. But you can see on the bottom right, you got yourself the badge. Thank you for watching, guys. If you'd like to support, please use code DEATERPLAY when buying Robux. And also make sure you subscribe and you've got the notification bell on, not only for the launchers, because I've got launchers for all of these launch boxes but also future news events and free items that hit the catalog on roblox so thank you for watching and we'll talk to you guys later